Hello guys, come back to Mezzo on African Motives, uh, still on Electro Technology N3 that is uh, working on the AC theory. Uh, so you're just going to focus uh, on this question number five, which is uh, from uh, the question paper of November 2022, where we are given uh, question five, an AC supply is represented by the equation. So here we are given the equation for an AC supply, which is E is equal to 230 sine 314,2 T in volts. So we are asked to calculate the following, and that is 10 marks for everything in this case. All right, so uh, let us check what we are given from our presentation of the equation. This is a, a sine wave that we are given. This uh, a sine equation that we have is from a sine wave. Remember, a sine wave is like this, all right? A sine wave uh, simply of this nature, like this goes and goes and up, up to up to uh, infinite. So, but for a full cycle, just is just for a one cycle in this case, a complete cycle up to 360 degrees. That is what we are going to have. We have got the positive and negative. Okay, this is not important for now, but this is the indication that you are given, whereby we are given this as an expression of E, which is equivalent to 230, which represent our VM, which is the maximum voltage in this case. And this is sine omega T. So this is sine omega T. So the omega in this case simply represents, uh, that is VM is sine, the omega here simply represents two pi F. So this is simply two pi F times T in this case. And this part here is in radius. So whatever we are, as long we are working with this pi, it means you are working in radians in this case. All right. So this is uh, what we are given or what this formula actually uh, represents. So the question that we are given on our first part here on 5.1 was to calculate uh the average value that is the average value so from our formula sheet we are given uh that the average value uh in this case which we are going to write as e average is equal to uh 0 0.6637 times v max so this is times uh v max which is uh vm which is this one so uh this we are given uh, from our formula sheet, which is given as EM, or we can get this as a VM. So if we write this as E, all right, since uh, here we can write this as E instead of using V, we can just write this as uh, E, so, so that we just take direct as it is from our formula sheet. This is just one and the same thing. All right, so meaning to say here, I'm going to have this as uh, EM or just VM. All right, so that is what you're going to have. So that is, uh, in this case, we've got 0 0.637 times the maximum value from our sine wave. In this case, from our sine wave, which means we are referring to 230. So we're saying E m the maximum value that we can have is at 230 volts so that is the one that you are going to use here in this case so that means we are going to multiply to 230 for em so this is going to give us the average value for the voltage which is 146,51 volts so this average value is also even for current let's say we're talking about current it is going to be zero comma 637 times the maximum current whatever value that you're given as long as it's a maximum value all right then we've got uh, 5.2 which is the supply frequency meaning we are referring to this f in this case which is our frequency so from this part we said omega in this case represents uh the 2 pi f which is in this case the part that is affecting our t in this case is this part this whole part is represented uh, by 2 pi f that is multiplied to t multiplied to so 314,2 is equal to 2 pi f these two they are the same they are equal so meaning to say we can formulate an equation in this case all right so we're going to formulate an equation uh so that's 5.2 so in order for us to have the frequency we are going to take the omega in this case which we said omega is equal to 2 pi f and our omega in this case is the value that is represented, this whole value here, 
which is our omega 314,2. So our omega being 314,2. So we can uh, substitute these values or we can make F the subject depending with what you want. You can make F or you can substitute your omega here. 314,2 is equal to 2 pi F which is uh, we can find our F in this case, which is our frequency, divide by 2 pi both sides, divide by 2 pi both sides. That means we are obtaining the exact value for our frequency in this case. So knowing that frequency is measured in hertz. So we divide this part, we are going to obtain something like 50, 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, 6 and so forth. So frequency just round off to the one or number which is going to be 50 hertz in this case all right so that is going to be our frequency and uh the other part we are given is uh to calculate on 5.3 is the period all right so the period is simply taken from the frequency remember that period is equal to one over f so which is the same thing with the frequency frequency is one over t so the t is equal to one over f also but our time is measured in seconds frequency is measured in hertz so in this case we have calculated the frequency so we can take advantage of that our frequency in this case is given as 50 so that's 1 over 50 in this case so that means we can obtain our time which is the period in this case 1 divided by 50 that's 0, 0,02 uh, seconds so that will be our t or we can write this in milliseconds multiply by a thousand so if you multiply by a thousand we are going to have this in milliseconds our t is going to be uh 20 which is in milliseconds that is uh, if you want to convert to milliseconds or you can simply leave it uh in seconds as it is all right so this was our question uh 5.3 on 5.4 we are now given to calculate the instantaneous value of the emf which means we need to calculate the value of E in this case, this equation that we see for E is actually an instantaneous value because we are given a set for a certain period of time, meaning to say as time is changing, the EMF is also changing in this case. So we are given in this case, if we, for a time of four milliseconds after zero, that is uh, the difference between time is uh, four milliseconds. So if our time is four milliseconds, what is going to be the value of the emf which is our e in this case so as you can see already we have our equation given in terms of t so we are simply going to refer to this equation uh that's 5.4 in this case like i said these are taken at instantaneous values and we are given that e is equal to 230 sine uh 314 comma 2 t where this is our time and I said this omega, as we saw, this is 2 pi f, which is in radians. So whatever that you're going to do here must be in radians. So E is equal to 230 sine. We can substitute in this case uh, the given time that we are given here, which is 4 milliseconds. So that's times 4 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3 for milliseconds. So this is going to give us uh, the EMF in volts in this case so like i said make sure that your calculator is in radians that is the most important part all right so i'm going to represent this or i'm going to show you the other part of the screen so that we can have our calculator in this case all right so let us have our calculator here so this is in degrees once there's a d here it's in degrees so in order for you to have radians, let's change this to four, which is in radians like this. Once there is R here, it means you are in radians. So you can substitute whatever that you have, you get the exact answer because you are in radians. So this is three, uh, 14 comma two times uh, four times uh, 10 to the exponent of uh, negative three. That is uh, what you're going to have in this case, uh, which is uh, two, 18,75 uh, five. in this case it's going to be 755 so we are going to obtain uh, 218,755 volts so if you want you can change two uh, degrees in this case remembering that pi is equivalent to uh, 180 degrees so you can change that so that you can have this in what in uh, 
in degrees, but that can be a long process again. You can just use your calculator direct in radians like this. If you change to degrees, uh, your answers, they are not going to be exactly the same, especially after the comma, because you have rounded off your answers. But this is the exact value because we never rounded anything. We substituted everything as it is. So this is uh, what we are going to have in this case. All right. So that was our question 5.4. 5.5, we are given the crest factor. Also, this we are given in our formula sheet, the formula for the crest factor. All right, so this is given as the maximum value to the RMS value. So let me just write it here. So that's 5.5. So the crest factor from our formula sheet is given as the maximum value over uh, the RMS value. So we are going to use the, uh, the maximum value to the RMS value in this case. Uh, if we check the maximum value is the one that we got from our E in this case. So we have this, but we do not have the RMS value. So if we check our maximum value is the one that we said is from E, where E max is 230. So we have got E max here, our maximum value is at 230. So this is 230 volts, but we do not have the RMS value. So where are we going to obtain the RMS value from your formula sheet? It is given also that the RMS value is equal to uh, 0 0.707 times the maximum value, meaning to say we are going to multiply this by the maximum value, which is 0 0.707 times the maximum value of uh, 230 in this case. So if we simplify this, we are going to obtain uh, something like uh, 162,611 volts. So this is our RMS value. So having these two, we can calculate our crest factor in this case, which is the maximum value of 230 volts. So this is in volts over the RMS value, which is uh, 162,611 which is also in volts. So as you can see, this will cancel, which means this is just a constant value. So we are going to obtain 1,414427 and so on. So this will be a four to three decimal places. Like I said, the volts and the volts cancels. So this is going to just give us a constant. So this will be our crest value in this case. So as you can see, uh, that is how we can apply our questions. Everything, guys, you have there, you have this in your... Uh, in your formula sheet, in this case, uh, let me just show the other part that I'm having here, like these ones, uh, the form factor, then the crest factor, which is the maximum value over the uh, RMS value. If it is current, also maximum current over the RMS value like that. So this is how we can have our, our questions. So that is how we can play around with our questions. Uh, so that's it, guys. All we need is to work on more revisions more question papers uh, as we prepare ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time. Uh, but for now, uh, that's it from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.